Everybody, it's JG Bocella here. Quick talk about race, gender, and the invitation. It's the idea of an invitation. So an invitation is powerful because an invitation is about, hey, we're building something over here. We're creating something. We're making something good together. We're doing something together. Come and join us. Be a part of this. It's inclusive. Let's, let's include you in this. This is something for good, it's, it's positive. So that, that energy of the invitation, that's my question. What's the invitation that folks are putting out to men to be part of the solution for gender equity and women's advancement and women's leadership? And then what's the, what's the invitation to white people from other white allies, activists, people of color? What, what's the invitation to be part of the solution around racial equity and, and unity and equality for all people. So what's the invitation? Um, see, and I think what happens is a lot of times folks coming from a strictly academic activist modality are caught up in like, look, this is wrong. We need to change this. It's craziness. And they're right about that. It is. And but the problem is there's no invitation there so what happens is they end up speaking to the choir preaching to the choir so we've got the same folks saying up yes this is wrong this is messed up so they're preaching to the choir but how do we engage the folks with with an acknowledgement that everybody's different some people are outspoken some people are very introverted and quiet and that they have a different way of making change or a different way of being part of the solution or a different way of contributing so what's the invitation to those folks who maybe aren't going to get out and march but who are, who, who want to be invited to a process, who want to be part of the solution? Um, that's a powerful question. What is that invitation?